welcome back to the channel guys it is me ad symbol for four so today guys we're doing asian cup match day three predictions there will be of course time subscription below and today i'm going to do this by group instead of putting each individual match that's going to be too much to write so uh, i'm just going to do that for time's sake so we're going to start with group a here guys so we have our games here so qatar have obviously topped the group they're going to be playing against china now, China, in my opinion, have to win this game because you look at China's position right now. They're on two points. And even though two points are currently in second place, remember, Tajikistan Lebanon is playing against your final match day. Winner of that is going to get second place. In my opinion, I think Qatar China is going to end in a draw. I just feel like for me, I feel like Qatar will play their B team. And I feel like I just don't see China winning. I just don't see China winning. They haven't played well enough, in my opinion, in the, three, the two games thus far. And I'm going to say China is going to just get a 1-1 one, uh, one, one draw, which may be enough for them to get second pl third third place in this group. Then we have Tajikistan versus Lebanon. Guys, I've not been impressed with Lebanon. Lebanon, for me, have been terrible. This Asian Cup, for me, one of the worst teams in this year's Asian Cup. They haven't really shown anything, and I've not been impressed. I think Tajikistan, on the other hand, have shown some signs that they can do something. My issue with Tajikistan, though, is that they don't score enough goals. So I'm going to say Tajikistan just win this one 1-0. One it's going to be very close, but I think they're going to do it. So if this group comes to fruition, it would mean that Tajikistan would finish second place. China would finish in third with three points. And Lebanon finished bottom with one point. So that's just how I think Group A is going to finish out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Moving on to Group B. We got here. It is uh, Australia versus Uzbekistan. Ba battles is basically determine which team tops the group. I haven't really been impressed with Australia in the Asian Cup. I think they have been very, very underwhelming. They've been getting the job done, though. Uzbekistan looked really good against India. Then again, though, India was really bad. I'm going to say a draw. I'm going to say a draw. I, I, I feel like, for me, Australia will get count out in this game, and they'll concede. And I think Uzbekistan will score, but I don't think Uzbekistan have enough to win this game. I feel like Australia will find a way to get back in the game. Um... Because what I could see happening is Uzbekistan take the lead and then Australia coming from behind to get a draw. And I feel like Australia won't really push for a win because at that point they've already basically topped the group. So, yeah. Next up, Syria versus India. Um, I'll be honest with you guys. For me, this is a difficult match to call. And I feel like in some ways this is a very important match for Syria. Syria have to win this game. Do they have what it takes to win this game? On the other hand, they haven't been great. Defensively, they've been terrible, especially against Uzbekistan. They did put up a good defense performance against Australia, though. Syria, on the other hand, they haven't shown any signs of going forward, man. I haven't seen any signs. Both these teams don't really have any capability to score, it seems. Although Syria did come close to scoring against Australia. It's a difficult one to call, guys. I think I'm going to say a draw. I think I'm going to say a draw, and I'm going to say a nil-nil draw. I feel like both teams will cancel each other out, and I feel like this will be a nil-nil draw. So, with that, that would mean Australia top of the group. Uzbekistan second place. Syria, would that be enough to get two points? I don't think it would be enough, guys. I don't think it will be enough, but... um. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Obviously, India finished in last place. Group C, we got here is um, um, Iran versus UAE. Iran, man, that performance against Hong Kong was abysmal. I expected more from Iran. UAE, they didn't play a great game against Palestine, but remember, they were down to 10 men, so we got to keep that in context. Because for me, before the red card, they were great. But after the red card, they were terrible. But obviously, they went defensive, which is kind of to be expected. For this game, guys, I'm going to say Iran wins this one. I think Iran's going to win this. Um, UAE, in my opinion, don't they, they can win this one, but Iran, for me, just have way too much quality. I think Iran's going to win this one now. I feel like this will be a close game, but I think Iran will just edge it one now. Next up is Hong Kong versus Palestine. Huge game for Palestine. Palestine have never won a game in the Asian Cup before. Can they finally do it? Because they have to win this one. Anything but a win is not going to be enough. Hong Kong, on the other hand... They, they, they haven't them been that bad. They haven't been that bad, guys. Hong Kong have actually showed some signs. But the issue with Hong Kong is that defensively, they make way too many mistakes. Palestine, for me, their finishing has been awful. They 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 are not clinical in the final third. I'm going to say Palestine edges this one, though. I'm going to say Palestine wins 1-0. I think Palestine will get the job done and just about win 1-0. Which would mean that UAE comes in second place, Palestine third, Iran in last first place, and then obviously Hong Kong in last place. Moving to Group D, we got here it is um, Japan versus Indonesia. Now Japan, keep in mind, um, still needs to uh, still haven't qualified yet, and if they beat Indonesia, they will be through to the next round. 
Um, and Indonesia, for me, they showed a really good performance against Vietnam. I was really, really impressed with them, especially defensively in the second half. Japan, on the other hand, defensively have been very, very suspect. So I'm going to say Japan just about win this one 2-1. One, but it's going to be a close game. I think Japan will just about edge this. I, I can't see Japan uh, losing or drawing this one, def despite the fact they lost to Iraq. Iraq versus Vietnam. Iraq have basically already topped the group because um, even if Vietnam do win, Iraq will still have more points. And Iraq, remember guys, head-to-head -head is a tiebreaker. Head-to-head -head is a tiebreaker. So Iraq versus Vietnam, I think Iraq's going to win this. I'm going to say 2-0. I think they'll get the job done. Vietnam, for me, are eliminated. They have nothing to play for. So I think Iraq will get the job done. So this is how I think the group is going to pan out. So Iraq first, Japan second, Indonesia third, and Vietnam last. Group E. We got here is group E. Uh, we got here it is South Korea versus Malaysia. South Korea men, um, they have been great in the Asian Cup so far, but defensively they've been a bit vulnerable. I haven't really been impressed with South Korea going defensively. Malaysia, on the other hand, they're defensively too weak. Um, defensively they make too many mistakes, and um, they did put a much better defensive performance against Bahrain compared to Jordan, but and Malaysia just don't have enough going forward. I think I think I'm gonna say South Korea wins this one. I'm gonna say they win this one like two nil. I think we'll get a routine two nil win. Next up is Jordan versus Bahrain. This is a huge one, for guys, for Jordan. I've been really really impressed with Jordan. Jordan have been fantastic in this year's Asian Cup. Bahrain, on the other hand, haven't been that great, and they just about scraped a win over Malaysia. And you know what, guys? I think Jordan's gonna win this one. I think Jordan have been fantastic. I've been really really impressed with them, and I think Jordan's gonna win this. I'm gonna say. I'm going to say 2-1. 2-1 over Bahrain. So let's see how this one pans out. Because do Jordan have the better goal difference? Yes. Oh, snap. So according to my predictions, if this actually comes to happen, then Jordan would actually top the group by goal difference. Because they have a better goal difference of plus 5, whereas South Korea plus 4. So South Korea, man, let's see what they can do, man. They're going to have to wrap up the score. Of course, the games will take place at the same time. And then finally, the last group we got here is Group F. Um... We got here it is 7:15. Um, we got here Saudi Arabia versus Thailand. This will be a very difficult game for Thailand, um, and we've seen how Thailand have been defensively solid. They have they have kept clean sheets. I believe the only team to keep clean sheets in this group. Um, I say to give them that. Um, I still think Saudi's gonna win this though. I think Saudi just have too much quality in the final third, and Thailand for me, I think their resilience is gonna break off, and I think Saudi's gonna win this one nil. I think they're gonna win this one nil. Then Kyrgyzstan versus Oman. It's a huge game, man. Huge, huge game for both teams. Oman basically have to win this. Oman have to win. Kyrgyzstan, on the other hand, it's it's looking tough for them. It's looking for tough. They haven't even scored a single goal. I think Oman's going to win this. I'm going to say they win this one. No, and remember, two players will be suspended for this game. So I think Oman's going to get the job done. So those are my predictions, guys. So Saudi Arabia would top the group. Thailand would come in second place. Oman third, and Kyrgyzstan likes last. So hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. I want you guys to like and subscribe if you did enjoy. And uh, later tonight, we're going to have a live stream to discuss about the Asian Cup and AFCON match day two. So I hope I can see you guys then. Remember guys to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.